Hey guys, welcome to GS uh, Callie's Caves, episode number six. Today's episode is brought to you by BaitBox.com. Uh, we're uh, we got a new sponsor here. Each month they'll send you a box full of fishing bait. Wow! They send you a priority mailbox filled with worms and minnows. And with Father's Day already having passed, what better way to show your dad that you love him than by sending him a box of worms and little minnows every month for <laughs> his fishing hobby? All right. Well, Cool. It's only twelve ninety five a month because they just dig up some worms in the yard and then they live near a creek. So there's some minnows there. They're really easy to catch once you get the hang of it. And there you go. It's a bargain, uh, you know. So it's bait box. We're really happy to be sponsored by them. Yeah, don't go to that website. I don't know if that's actually a bait website. box. I, what else? I don't know. What else could baitbox.com be? <laughs> yeah, I, I can think know. of a few things. Valor. Is this hell? This is the inner sanctum, which is, I believe, the Jesus. final area. Demons. Take that. Take that. This game really took a turn down my alleyway. I like, uh, I'm really uh, obsessed with demons. Yeah, I know. This is all, this is all you, actually. Studying them and uh, the reality of the existence of actual demons in the, the world. The truth being out there about demons, you, demons, you would say. Demons, ghosts, hey. specters, geists hey. and poltergeists. I want to plug something, by the way. Oh, okay. Well, an actual thing? Yeah, an actual thing. We have a subreddit. Oh, yeah, we have a... Oh, Guess who made our subreddit? Not us. It was, well, maybe I shouldn't call him out by name, but somebody- yeah, we'd already called him out by name. Oh, we did? Less effects, yeah. oh, okay, did we already mention this? Yeah, we've already mentioned this uh, like two on two other episodes of GS. Well, I'm gonna mention it again. We now have a subreddit, reddit.com slash r slash game soup. So, I still haven't checked it in a couple days. I don't know if anything's up there yet. Visit it. But visit it and fill it with content and appease us. Or, or don't, whatever. I mean, it's really up to you. Kelly, I think we're going to finish this game today. Let's make the it the best subreddit on Reddit. The best? <laughs> Do you have any idea how impossible that would be? Let's make it the, the have the most subs of any subreddit. You ever go on the like the JonTron subreddit or the Game Grumps subreddit? Those mm, no. those places are crazy. They get so much traffic, so much activity. We should just be like that. We should just get a lot okay. of traffic. Let's yeah, just let's just, just plan to do let's it. Let's just get a bunch of traffic. Yeah, yeah. that sounds good. It seems it seems like a reasonable goal I mean, and something that can just happen without any effort. No, even if it's just spam, you know, that's good too. That just went through a wall. It sure did. That was a big rocket too. These guys have really uh, the HP of a of a master, and they really hurt when they when they slash you. Yeah, a master, <laughs> a master, a master of what? Like sucker. Oh, oh no. I better just response. Oh cool. But you can grind for. It's like Mega random, Man. random drops. Seems like hearts or health. Doesn't help. really seem worth, it, not worth the time, though. No, absolutely. Seems not. like your time would probably be better spent just exploring stages and grabbing gold and then buying your power up from this fellow. <laughs> Look at this, this veiled threat. Carl hasn't forgotten your part in what happened to his dad and grandpa. Oh, that's such so a the, the cave of the Carls. What do you, what do you think Callie did? Is she, criminal? she murdered a bunch of the Carls. Remember the Carls. In that cave of the Carls. Oh, wow. Oh, wait, don't, don't we need a bigger cyber sword now? Do we? Do we need it? How wait, much does it wait, cost? Wait. Do we need it or do we not it need it? It costs 100000 Oh, we can't we even can't, buy it. We can't even buy it. But what do we have? What is this? I can't even buy it. Whoops. Health regen. Oh, uh, we can't afford that. We really can't afford anything. Can we afford the... We don't need another coin. A coin multiplier costs so much, and this is probably the last episode of the of this series. Yeah. Yeah, Most I, likely. I imagine... I don't think there's Unless another Unless it goes for like this. over an hour. If, if there's more than an hour left of the game, it probably will not. There's some extra... Last episode. There's some extra stuff I want to check out. There are a couple of extra game modes. There's a yeah. new game plus, too, which yeah, I, I think, think is worth we'll, showing. I was thinking we'll do that as like bonus content at the end of the yeah. episode. You know? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that'll be pretty sweet. Just to show off what else there is in this game. Sweet for us and sweet for everyone watching. But you need to use oh, your... Yeah. There's I think, a lot of guns in this sleep title. I think you can Spike only switch... Gun. Can you only switch in one direction? I think you can only switch... Like, you know, you can't just go left and right and left and right. I think you just have to switch one way, which is okay. Except there's a lot of weapons, so that's okay. I don't love it. It's okay. Oh, now we have another weapon. Wow, sniper, the sniper rifle. Sniper rifle. Holy crap. I was not expecting to get another gun, I but know. here we are. It seems like you get one every, uh, every zone. Yeah. Is that it? That's a sniper rifle? It seems to... Why, why is it aiming up? Does it auto-aim at the closest enemy? Yeah, I think it does. Oh. Oops. How cool is that? Oh, there you go. Pretty weak, This though. is the best gun in the game. Isn't it? Well, well it's, it's only weak because you're... Because it's a low level. Yeah. This thing's level 19. Well, this one also seeks enemies. This also seeks enemies. So this and the sniper rifle have something in common. 
This seems to this oh. kind of goes on a different arc though. Hey, like the sniper rifle, you might be able to hit that guy more easily. These guys really hurt you. Damn, it's hot in here. Already. Wait. Yeah, it's a hundred fucking degrees today. We just turn the air conditioner off, and I'm already dying. Dying. Okay, probably. It's actually a hundred degrees today. It actually is. Yeah. And we don't live in Arizona. Thank God. It's probably too hot in Arizona. I imagine everybody leaves Arizona because it's just too hot. Although that's what I thought about Texas. Texas is pretty cool. You go out in January in shorts and a t-shirt, and you're just very comfortable outside. But it then, sounds yeah. really comfortable. It sounds like a place where my social anxiety would just melt away. You think? Well, everything else melts away, so why not that? <laughs> it's too damn hot. Yeah. Yeah, all the asphalt melts every year. It's like a national event. The, uh, the asphalt on the highways melts away. So instead of traffic jams, they have traffic sinks where all the cars just melt into the street. It's pretty cool. Is that real? Because I almost believe you. You should. It's true. Ask me if it's true. No. It's not true. I'm sorry. Wouldn't it be cool? Wow, you're really... You're having a conversation with yourself. Right, well, I wasn't just gonna... I don't know. Look at that sword. I wasn't God gonna damn. wait for you to just ask. That is a sexy sword. Isn't it? It's really cool. Uh, what else do I want to talk about today? Sniper rifles. Sniper rifles. Can you buy a sniper rifle? Is it legal to buy a sniper rifle? I don't in know. In your country? Leave it in the comments below. What about our country? Is there a rule? Isn't it... Well, they're not uh, automatic, right? Isn't there a law against automatic weapons? Oh, jeez. Yeah. But that's not an automatic weapon. Hmm. I guess it's okay, because what if you want to hunt? You need a sniper rifle. Right? You're not going to take a shotgun out to the forest and shoot a deer, are you? Well, that's not... That doesn't seem like it would be that effective. A shotgun's pretty good for birds, oh, though. I love that blind jump there. Did you see that? You just... only need to hit the bird with one little pellet. And it can even be a BB. They're small. Yeah. My dad killed a, a bird by accident once. Maybe it was a squirrel, but either way, you know, like a small animal with a BB. Your dad had a special sign. Oh. Off of the highway, off the turnpike, off this one exit that he would get off a lot of the time. Oh, yeah. he shot it with a BB gun every time he went by, and that sign is just, uh, has lots of dents. Riddled. Little holes in it. It's just riddled with BBs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was his thing. He would pull off on the exit, take out his gun, and shoot it from the driver's, <laughs> the driver's seat. That was really great. I really like oh, that. Jesus. I think that's funny. Yeah, he's, he's kind of a kind of a weird, a little bit nuts, like most people in my family. But in a know, good way, though. Yeah, and everybody has. I'm sure everybody has their own nuts in their family, their own style of nuts. So I didn't bring any notes. To, oh Jesus! I didn't bring any notes today. I got nothing I really want to talk about. I have notes, but we haven't really done any of them except for that stupid corny bait box thing at the beginning. Bait box? I thought of that in the shower. Was it a hit? <laughs> well, it's true. We're actually getting sponsored by bait box. Oh yeah, we are. We're really getting sponsored by people who send dead fish in the mail. <laughs> well, I thought there were worms. Yeah, and worms. No, dead fish is the... Is I mean, the... I'm sure the worms die too. Oh the yeah, mail. It's I guess. a priority mailbox, even though it takes only two days. The fish can't breathe for two days in a priority mailbox. <laughs> You, you can add water though, and that would help. Wait, is this this is a dead end? Yeah, the mailman delivered my box of boxes the other day out in the box rain. Of boxes. Yeah, I ordered some boxes because I ship items out as part of my job, and uh, yeah, the boxes inside got all wet, but they dried out all right. But come on, put it inside the door when it's raining. Yeah, mailman. Yeah, mailman. My, my mailman hates me though. How come? Because I don't take in the mail every day. Some days I just don't leave the house. Yeah, me neither. I feel like that's a common enough thing that he doesn't actually hate you. You think he actually you feels think a lot of people don't leave the house every day? Or some, some well, days? Well, I don't know, maybe some I don't people... like being in crowded places. It really activates my social anxiety. When there's too many people around, you know? I'm not that scared. I'm not like scared of people. It's it just I just feel uneasy when there's too right. many people around. I like to go to the grocery store on days when there's not a lot of people. Like, I don't like going on the weekends. Are we? But it wait. takes forever oh. too. I wonder if that new weapon can. Shoot what a great and interesting topic. Yeah, I'm just trying to figure out where to go here. It's a little bit of a maze. Yeah, it does seem to be a maze-ish type of level here. Let me entertain the folks here. Oh yeah, we're not the top match on Google search anymore if you type oh. in GameSoup, but it's only because the website that has the recipe 
for uh, for game soup, which is a soup made out of birds, I think. <laughs> they bought an ad <laughs> for, <laughs> for their one recipe on their one site. Why? They oh, no. saw, because they saw that we had taken the top spot, and they decided to pay Google money so that we could no longer have the top spot. But. You know, it's a paid-for spot, so fuck them. They have no idea how little we care. Grandma's fish, finch soup, fish soup. Finch soup? Finch soup has nothing on our YouTube channel. Well, I guess, I guess it's got something. It's got uh, one space up on Google. But that's really well, it, they right? paid for it, though. Yeah, they paid for it. Does that make it not count? So fuck them. <laughs> how low do you have to be? Yeah, how low do you have to be? Speaking of grocery stores and being in crowded places, I was in a place that wasn't that crowded the other day. A place that's never crowded. The Aldi grocery store. The Aldi! I love Aldi, man. Yeah, I was in the neighborhood. It's actually in your neighborhood. It is. So the you're Aldi. You're here. You love their bargains, right? Didn't Didn't you tell me they just started accepting uh, credit cards? Yeah, they just started accepting credit cards, like, a few months ago, I think. In 2016. 2016, yeah. Took them long enough. Yeah, Aldi. The cool place story. where all the dregs go. All the dregs. All the dregs go to shop at Aldi. Does oh. that make me a dreg? Sure. Cause I go there to I go there to get pork grinds. Pork grinds? Yeah. Well, no, they're actually called. You know what they're actually yeah, called. Yeah, you but call, I them like to call them grinds. Grinds because it's funnier. It is pretty funny. Yo, what is it with this level? It's the only place you can get pork grinds that are really cheap. Yeah, they can, like, and a lot of places don't even have them. Regular grocery yeah. stores. You are right. And when they do have them, they're like three or four dollars. But at the Aldi, they're ninety-nine cents. It's really hard to beat. So I go there, and I'm not in this neighborhood that often anymore. I used to live in this neighborhood, but I don't live in this neighborhood anymore. And uh, so whenever I'm back here, I go to that Aldi and I pick up some pork grinds. And I buy a lot of them though, because you know I'm not going to be back for a while. And the lady at the cash register gave me the evil evil eye when she saw how many of these pork grinds what? I was picking up. She did. She gave me a look. You know, she shouldn't have done that, because one time I went in there and bought ten bags and nothing else. Yeah, I I bought eight. Oh. And I've bought a dozen before. <laughs> I've bought more than ten. And she was just gave one me the time. eye. But I only bought eight. That's eight dollars. Yeah. And she gave me the evil eye. I also bought a canister of cashews. What a jerk. I don't know what to do here. What an interesting story. <laughs> I don't I don't know what's going oh, on. We've been we've been in this fucking room for uh what, what feels like decades. If you have to get up here. Maybe it's one of these passages. This might be the wrong one. Oh, this might be it. This looks like this is the correct passage. Uh no. Is it? Is it? No, it's not. Oh my Mazes. god. I have the intelligence of a three year old monkey. I don't love it, but I don't hate it. Well, it's okay. It's fun to control, even still, but mazes. Yeah, I don't know. And the only other dregs there were fat women. I noticed this, that I go, when I, at least, I shop, I usually go out during the day to do my shopping because I don't like crowds, you know, during a weekday. And it's always fat women at every place I go. Where I go to get my clothes, Ross, dress for less, Ross. fat women. Aldi, fat women. Why fat? Why do they have to be fat? I don't know. They always are, though. It always is that way. Why don't we take a break and we'll come back and we'll be figure out where to go. Okay, cool. Hit that button like that episode of... Never mind. We're back. What's up, guys? We figured it out. It's always that last path that you haven't tried yet. Always. There it is. It was a pretty nice day out today. Other than being, you know, deadly hot. Yeah, it's deadly. Old people are dying. They sure are. Look how much damage that does. 0. 0.72 so many times. I just love that you can mash it. It feels so good to mash. What else sucks about Aldi? They don't give you bags. Oh, the, stra the strategy I do is I go to the shop right across the street. Yeah? I get the bags there, and then I, <laughs> uh, I, I ask them to double bag it. Oh. You know? And then I take the, the double bags off <laughs> and bring them into the Aldi <laughs> so I can have bags for the Aldi because they're so fucking cheap. Yeah, but it's like the five cents. They don't accept credit cards until... What's five cents? It's a bag. It's five cents now. Oh, Just you can buy a bag? Yeah. I didn't know that. They're dirt cheap. Because the, the, the people that work there always just give me the evil eye. They never recommend me to buy a bag. <laughs> you can and should. I've run out. I've come out of there with just an armful of bags of pork grinds. Oh, before, yeah. Without any bags. It's foolish. 
You can also get a cart there, but it, you have to put a quarter in the cart. Yeah. It's so that you return the cart. So you don't steal it? Yeah, so you don't... That's, that's it. I thought that. I thought it was so that homeless people wouldn't steal it, but homeless people can get a quarter. Anybody can yeah, get a quarter. Yeah, that's true. It's so that you return it, so they don't have to pay somebody to go out and grab the carts out of the lot. Oh, that's why they do it. They're they're really cheap. Then. That's really cheap. Yeah, they have they don't they don't have a cart boy. You know, like most. Yeah. So th they just eliminate one position. Yeah. How much money can that possibly save? And they only ever have one person working there. <laughs> I've yeah. only ever seen one. It's always one lady working the cash register and she looks so sad and oh, yeah. why wouldn't you be sad working at the Aldi and running the cash well, register? I don't know man, uh, they pay pretty well. They're based in what, Germany or uh, somewhere, somewhere overseas and they pay really well even they're opening like their starting positions are 11.25 or something. No they're not. Yeah, yeah, they're, they're rated one of the, you know, maybe not the best but a good company to work for. Oh, then why are they so grumpy? Why are they so grumpy? It's because they have to work at Aldi. No, I don't know why. I don't know why. But yeah, I don't... I feel... It feels humiliating to return the cart. Now, when I'm at a normal grocery store, I always return the carts. Because I'm not a scumbag, you know? But when I have to return the cart for money... To get my freaking quarter back... Right. Freaking... Quarter? Right. That feels scummy? Yeah, I... It, I feel... It feels demeaning and humiliating. So I just leave my cart in the lot at the Aldi. With the quarter in it. With the quarter in it? You just pay the quarter? Yeah. It's the cover to get inside Aldi. But I don't... I didn't use a cart last time. I used ShopRite bags. You should just get one of those tote bags. No, I'm not carrying a tote bag. I do have a really cute tote bag. Though. Oh, yeah? <laughs> yeah. I, not a tote bag, like a reusable grocery bag. Yeah, I have one of those. Well, I got should... it in Japan. It, oh. It was it was free with uh, the purchase of some art book or something that I bought in Japan. Well, what was wrong with that, then? You'd rather use plastic? Take this. Uh, yeah, I, 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 you never remember to bring those kind of things. Yeah, that's true. You gotta leave it in your car. And I'm not really a... I don't know. You're not really a, a what? Aldi. This is really an interesting topic. Yeah. So yeah, I'm done with that. I'm All right. done with that topic. I think we've talked about that store. We've probably talked about that store before on GS. We talk about all the grocery stores. I guess. I've ranted about BJ's, Aldi, we ShopRite. We haven't ranted about Costco before, but I've never been to one. Or Sam's Club? I have. It's like similar to BJ's. I don't know if they're still coupon crazy there, though. I hope not. I hope not. Let us know. If you've been to Costco or Sam's Club, I think Sam's Club is the the Walmart version. Is that right? Yeah, yeah. They're owned by Walmart. I think Costco is a little bit different. Yeah, they sell soda that says Sam's Soda. Sam's Choice, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe it's called that. Yeah, if you if you have a membership at those places or you, or you shopped at them before... Are they crazy about coupons where you like you really have to cut coupons before you go in as if, you know, you should be getting that discount anyway because yeah, you've already paid for humiliation. membership. <laughs> more Nothing humiliating. more humiliating than an adult man cutting coupons. Oh, Jesus. Didn't you just say that going to Aldi was humiliating? Yeah, because going to Aldi is just because of the cart thing. Right. And also, yeah, and no, it's more of a drag type of store. Yeah, 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 it's humiliating yeah. to go there. Yeah, it is, I guess. It's cheap I mean, junk. if you shop at Aldi, you know, that, that might say something about you. I don't really shop there for regular grocery shopping. I just get one product there yeah. because it's cheaper than everywhere else. Yeah, I only go there for certain things. Like you said, pork rinds. Uh, let's see. Let's see. I, mean, I was at the doctor, right? I was in the waiting room for a long time. You know, I always have to wait in the waiting room for a long time. Has anyone ever made that joke? A no. joke about how... And, and there was, I was seated, I, the chair that I chose, the way that I was seated, I couldn't look anywhere without staring at someone, because there were so many people and the way they were placed was just <laughs> perfect, so <laughs> I had to choose whether to stare at the, at the lazy, at the, the lady the with lazy. the baggy eyes, or the... Quit staring at the lazy! Or the night, or the, the very nice old couple, mm -hmm. and the guy who worked at BMW, he was wearing wow. a BMW hat. Did he give you a car? And a BMW <laughs> shirt. Oh, this is damn it! This episode is really uh, boring so far. I mean, well, it's because we didn't. I'm just telling boring stories. <laughs> well, let's about, talk about something interesting then. About my travels. Let's talk about something the interesting. Doctor's if office. Think, if you think this is boring, I saw Ti was on the View. Who's okay? On the, it was on the TV at the doctor's office. On the TV. Yeah. Why is T, Why was Ti on the View? I well, thought he was like a hard gangster. I don't know. What I did think he do? I think he's a really good rapper. I like him a lot. And then I saw him on The View and I was like, why is this 
gangster on The View. He was also in the movie Ant Man. So I, I guess he's. Ant -Man. I'm pretty sure he's he's not a gangster anymore. Oh. <laughs> no. That happens to a lot. Like, uh, well, yeah, the, why would you be a gangster when you're making millions of dollars being in movies and and making rap music? I guess there's no reason to continue. I mean, there's some really great. For 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 example, The Rock. The Rock has been in more and more films, and he's actually in a film coming up where he sings. And he actually has a good singing voice. No. Yeah. And who else? Who's that guy? Ice Cube or Ice T? The guy who was in all those family films. Yeah, Ice Cube. There are plenty of rappers or, you know, hip-hop yeah, style. Yeah, they, they do that. They do that, which is cool, though. Yeah, I'd, I'd rather that they do that than, than shoot men, you know? Oh, yeah, I think those are the ones that already don't shoot people, you know? Well, Snoop Dogg shot some people. What? Yeah. How's he still around, then? Well, he got off the charges, but I still think that he's a killer. You still think he's a killer, yeah. huh? A lot of these guys are killers. Not everybody gets caught, you know? Oh, yeah. They all killed Tupac. Who they've killed, though? Yeah, who did kill Tupac? Well, oh, yeah, we, we talked about that, I think, already on this series. We talked, yeah. But I didn't I didn't describe why I think that Tupac is... Well, why I think it's possible that Tupac is still alive. Do we really want to get into that right now? No. Just write it in the comments below if you want me to describe it on a future episode of GS. GS. What else we got coming up? The track. These are so boring. Why did you write them down? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Can we stop it with the killings? That one's not too boring. Oh, and it's not too boring, but it's every it's every a day. Political. Every it's not political. It's people fucking dying because of Islamic terrorism. It's not political. That's, that's the thing. The the end. The part that you just said. The Islamic terrorism. It's not political. It's it will has turn nothing into, to do, has nothing to do with politics. It will quickly become political, and somebody will be offended, and. You know, normally I, I I'm say offended are... that some um, I'm offended that Islamic terrorists are murdering people. All right, let's go on this rant. Go for it. Go for it. You were telling me on a after one of our episodes in this series, I forget which one, one of the episodes that you were trying to hold me back because I was about to go off. Yeah, I get. But I it's not political. It's uh, I'm tired well, of the news just being killings. That's that's all news is, man. That's what brings in uh, viewers. You know. I mean, there wasn't. It was usually. It's usually been just been politics, and I t and then I don't look at it anymore. Like, I'll go on whatever a news website, a good one just for like, uh, just to see if there's any disasters happening is drud <laughs> drudgereport.com. Oh yeah. And if it's just political news, uh, whatever. I don't give a shit. I just close it and I don't read it. Okay. Right. Because I mean, Drudge Report. It's like it's more of a right leaning news site, but they aggregate ev they aggregate news from everywhere. So. If there's a disaster, I'm going to hear about it there first, right? So right. I just go on there, and if it's just Republican political news, I just turn it off. But it's just been killings lately. Usually it's just a bunch of nonsense political stuff, and I don't give a shit. Yeah, no, you're but right. it's just been killings. There was one in Afghanistan today. There was a, today? Big, a big attack. Yeah, it was, uh, I think, 80 dead. Holy crap. Like what, I'm just like getting sick of it. You, yeah. Everyone, right? Especially the families and of the dead people and the ghosts of the dead people. They're fucking tired of it. I like how you slipped that one in there without anybody noticing. The ghosts. Health regen. Do we want that or just, do we just want the sword? Do we have 100,000? I would we get do. the sword if you get 100,000. Oh! Really... Whoa! Triple lightsaber! I got really excited by this sword. Hit, swing it, swing it. It cool. looks shorter than the other sword. I don't think so. No, it's not. Okay. I don't think it is. I'm uh, glad that it's not. So guess where we are on the, on the map? We're pretty, we're, this is the wow. last. I'm getting excited. This is gonna be it. This is the end of Cali. Cali's so grave. How do we stop the violence, guys? Leave your ideas in the comments below. Level up. Wow. What is, what is E? Okay, look in the top left corner. It used to be our face. Now it says E. E for what? E for energized? Oh no. Oh no, he's gonna throw so, a bomb dude. at us with his spaghetti arms. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say something uh, related to politics corrupting the caves. Just give it up. Oh, Feelings. I'm having them. Oh no! He's going to beat his kid? Oh. All right.
He's kind of a jerk. He's being such a bully to this little... Oh. Did that actually hurt you? I don't think it did. I don't think it did. His his bombs, even when they hit, they don't do anything. <laughs> oh, hello. Hello. Herbert. <laughs> what a, what a <laughs> I've never fought a last boss named no, Herbert before. It's such a benign name, Herbert. Yeah, he really does. He's doing, he's using oh. your trick on you. Oh, oh, no. I have a feeling we are I'm not I'm stomached. Gonna... I'm stuck. I can't move. Triple jump. Triple I'm jump. literally stunlocked. Fucking shit, man. I'm dead. Holy crap. I was, you know, I was just about to say how, uh, how much of a pushover this guy should be because his name is Herbert, but then, you know, then he stunlocked us into oblivion. Is he gonna do it again? Uh, I think I'm gonna die, actually. This is not looking good. What's his life bar looking like? Mm, he's, uh, he's getting there. about two-thirds of the, two-thirds left. I'll say the hitboxes are a little too generous as far as getting hit with projectiles. Oh, why don't I just chop down my parents? Chop down. <laughs> oh, is this doing damage? I hope so. Oh no. Hard to believe this is... Oh, damage increase. Let's do that. Hard to believe this is probably the last episode of GS. Well, almost certainly now. Yeah. The last episode of GS, correct. Oh, wrecked him! Get this money! Holy crap, look at that money. Wow, that was $52,000. Thank you. That's what? more money than her parents have made in their entire lives. <laughs> all they... you had to do was kill a scientist. <laughs> kill a scientist who was beating up little girls. So it's raining. It's yeah. kind of win-win. Oh no, it's over. How? This reminds me of the end of a Bruce Lee movie, actually. Oh really? Wait, can I shoot him or leave? Is it? Is it? No, I can't even shoot. He just refuses to stand down. I wonder if there's going to be a second final boss. What? Uh... You're kidding. Really? That is cheap. Why, wait, why did we jump over? Why did you jump over? I thought it was where I was supposed to go. Hmm. Uh, that's ridiculous, because now I have to switch to the weapon that is the dart very quickly, and I don't know which one it is. It's not that one. Is it that one? Try it. Because I think it's, it's not that one. It's this one. Jesus no, Christ. No, it's not gun. Flamethrower. I'm literally going to fucking gun. die. You're dead. Wow. Why is that there? Why is that there? I don't know. Is there any reason? Okay, oh, but good. it starts back here. Okay, that's nice. I can't shoot. Oh, okay. You have to use the sword. Oh, the sword. And then you throw him into a lava pit. Yeah, but why is that lava pit there for you to fall in? That doesn't make any sense. Wait. He's not falling into the lava pit. He's falling into a completely different area. So there's one of the enemies. He's a wolf. There's another enemy. There's Carl. His glasses are falling off. Is that, is that that's, that's the punishment for beating up little girls? This is kind of, uh, kind of depressing. He's making his way towards a, a quick death. He's much too young. There's that spider with the bomb for an ass. And that skeleton who threw so many bones at us. Everything in this game threw projectiles at you. There's a... Everything. Do you notice that? A laser turret. Except for the pirate. Like, that guy, the laser turret. Most of things either stood in place and shot at you, or walked back and forth and shot at you. Yeah. Like, the pathing was incredibly simple. A lot of murders. <laughs> a lot of murders. We did murder a lot of these. Oh, yeah, I remember the, these Wow, bosses. this is a really unfortunate path for him to fall down. He could almost land on any of these guys, and they could catch him, but yeah. he's just falling to his... What are the odds? He would fall straight down without to touching... death here. And look how close he is to that block, and yet he didn't even touch it. What are the odds? I guess this is really the end. Until Callie's Caves 4, if that's... Well, it's definitely a thing. Oh, and he falls into water. We fall into lava, but... Hey, but remember, if you don't have swimmies in the water, then you you drown in this game. You do. That's cool. So it's pretty likely that he lived, because he just fell into deep water. Oh, what was that? Oh, we're at the credits. What was that? Oh, we saved our parents. Good night! I guess that's it, huh? So this is it for uh, Callie's Cave 3. This is the end of the episode. Kind of abrupt. Well, let's, Goodbye. let's see what else we have. No, no, no. no. Goodbye. We'll see you guys on the next LP series. Goodbye. This is the end of the episode. You can go now. Goodbye. You can close the video now. It's the end of the episode. It's the end of Callie's Caves 3. And thanks for watching, and thanks a lot to Jordan 
for providing us with the review copy of the game and for providing us with giveaway copies of the game, which we gave away during the first three episodes of Callie's Caves 3. And thank you for watching. Thanks for staying with us for the entire time. And we'll see ya. You can close the video now. Goodbye. Just close the window. Oh, you're still here. Hello. We're going to try out some of the other content in the game. You found the secret bonus content oh, of the Game Soup. Bonus bonus content. I see. So where what what is this? This is called survival. This is called survival mode. We're in survival mode. Oh, we get to keep all of our power-ups that we got do. from from our play playthrough of the story mode of the game. Well, I know what we need. We just need this uh, missile launcher. Yeah, the missile launcher is really making short work of these wolves. And look, it actually uh, it adds to our total money. So this is like, uh, you can play this in conjunction oh, this with the main good, game. This is a good way to get extra money we and, just and done increases. Should have just done it earlier. I wonder if there's a bigger challenge in the game, like a, like something where you really need to to spend a lot of time leveling up your your weapons and getting lots Probably. and lots of money. I imagine that the weapons don't, don't uh, max out for a while. Wait, unless this weapon, well, this weapon's level 19. Is that the max? might be the max, because I haven't seen the experience bar go up at all. No. No? No what? No, it hasn't. It hasn't. Oh. I don't think it's gone up yet. This might actually be the max level. Oh, we can't look at our... Let's see. Can I... Can't look up here? Hmm. Maybe this is my incentive to uh, do something else. I can't... Yeah, these caves. I kind of thought I'd be able to get stronger, though. You know? Yeah, pick it up on Steam, guys. Yeah, this was totally worth it. It's it's like five bucks. Yeah, it's something like five bucks it's on so Steam. Cheap. And I think you're gonna get a lot of fun out of this title. I mean, it's great. It's a great just sit back and relax kind of game. Yeah, this is this has been a really fun LP. I think our last two LPs have been some of my favorites that we've done on GS. We did Mighty Number no. Nine. And Dragonscape 3, I think I think these were some of the, the best LPs that we've done. The Mighty Number no. 9, although it's I haven't really uh, it's not very memorable that game. You know? The reason why I think that the Mighty Number no. 9 LP was good, not not because the game was so great, but because there was uh, there was just a lot to talk about yeah. in the game. There was just a, a lot of good and bad examples of game design in, in the game and there was just a lot of a lot to contrast and a lot to talk about. Yeah, a about lot of the game commentary, a lot of good commentary. Right. Bees! And this was fun just because it's a relaxed game. It's fun. It has solid mechanics. It's fun to control. I mean, what else can you really say about it? It's Callie's Caves 3. You're, you're kind of a fool not to buy it. <laughs> yeah, in fact, <laughs> if you don't buy it, we're going to look down on you, personally. And we'll take it as a personal slight, won't we? Or will we not? And like we said before, you know, we it's 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 this would be a great game for a kid like the mobile version. It's also for mobile. This would be a great game for like a car trip for a kid. This will if you got kids, I mean, they'll shut up if they got Callie's Caves 3 on their phone, I promise. Probably. That's a and a promise from Joe from Game Soup is really a promise that uh can't really have be given too much validity. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this dude! Whoa, we've never seen this fellow before. It's a Sniper Joe. It is a Sniper Joe. He looks really happy to be sniping at a young woman. Yeah, I know. Well, everything in this game is what a f attacking a young girl. What a fucking jackass. <laughs> There's nothing I hate more than than a man that would that would hide behind a, a riot shield and just fire his pistol at a young girl. He's really a jerk. Yeah. I wonder how long this goes. It can't I'm, be infinite. I'm just, I'm just not a fan of, uh, of men who, who try to fire bullets at, at children. I'm just not a fan of men. Yeah, there was. Oh, they were speaking of attacks. There was that recent attack in. You, did you see that one? This happened yesterday. Uh, in Munich. Yeah, in Munich. Yeah, I did see that. Or maybe you linked me to it. I think I did. I don't know. But uh, yeah, this guy, this asshole, targeted children. He at a targeted McDonald's. children. He yeah, he targeted children. At a McDonald's, and then he ran across the street to the mall and started just shooting at people. What the hell? Did they get him? I don't know. Actually, I didn't see the update on the news story. It was it was going on. Yes, all yesterday, and uh, I didn't look at it today to see if they caught the guy. Hopefully, he's dead. Hopefully, he's dead. Well, yeah, the killer. I guess. I mean, yeah. 
Hopefully okay. they killed him with one of those bombing robots, or right. at least got him into custody. But usually those guys, I mean, if they've got a gun, they usually just shoot him. Yeah, it seems like they always end in... Well, usually they end in suicide for the, the shooter, not not killed by police. Yeah, one of the two, I guess. I remember what I was going to say. So like, welcome to Downers on GS, where we talk <laughs> about recent killings. I was going to mention something about 10 minutes ago. I remember what it was now. What is that? Did you see that? No. I wasn't paying attention. It was a weird enemy. I was looking away for a second. Um, I was going to say, I get all Maybe my we'll news. One. Like, whenever I hear about the shootings or, or any, any... From Reddit? Particularly, yes. I get my news from Reddit, from yeah. the front page of Reddit. Yeah, that's a, that's think, a better source than... MSNBC or Fox News. Yeah, I think that's a lot of people do that. It's, it's kind of the same thing. Like, Dr like Drudge Report is similar. It's it's uh, content controlled by. It's not controlled by uh, the user votes, but they always have the biggest news stories. Like, if a disaster happens, if a natural disaster or right. a, or a massacre or something happens, then what's there's these the there's, there's a bunch of different enemies that that weren't used in the story yeah, game. It's kind of interesting that they're. Only seem to be in the in the survival mode here. So this is the survival mode. I'm wondering if we should uh, check out the two other options we have. I want to see how far you can survive, though. Really? Okay. Yeah, this can be an extra long app, right? Oh yeah, sure. The why final app, and this is bonus. This is bonus content. We told everyone to go. What, with, what the fuck? They're <laughs> fishmen. <laughs> fishmen. Fishmen. Okay. And they, they throw tridents. They throw tridents. How racist? Racist? Racist against fishmen? Yeah. Fishmen have no rights. Yeah, they always they always do that. Like Aquaman has a trident. Yeah, it's because of Poseidon. And fishmen, they just it's just like a stereotype. Yeah. Like Indians live in igloos. Fishmen lives matter. Stop stereotyping. Indians live in igloos? Yeah. I saw That's uh, wrong. That's wrong, Joe. I saw a cop. Uh not a cop. <gasps> I saw, Look at that robot. Yeah, there's so many enemies that, that they didn't use in the game. That are in this survival. That's. I wonder if these are from past that's games. Cool. Yeah, maybe they're from past games, possible. But yeah, you know, you'd think that they would put these in, but yeah, there's more. Whoa. Yeah, I wonder if these are like uh, little Easter eggs from past Cali's games. Three monsieurs. Monsieurs. Wait, how do you pronounce it? Monsieur. Monsieur. Uh, I don't know. I said monsieur because you know I'm a ignorant American. But... Filthy American. Yeah. Wait, what happened to my weapon? Oh God, there's too many weapons. There's like twelve, I think. It's hard to switch between them. Game soup, huh? I'm not sure about those guys. Those game yeah, soup guys either. Oh, you know what I wanted to talk about? We were talking about our favorite games and why they're our favorite games yeah. on episode two or three of this series. Yeah. On our comments of the weeks and uh, our answer to Seraphic Reapers uh, email. Yeah. And we didn't talk about my favorite game and one of your favorite games. We talked about Bungayo HD and Super Mario RPG, but we didn't talk about Spelunky at all. Oh, we didn't. And why we thought that was why You're that's right. that's one of the greatest games, and uh, I, didn't, I didn't really think about it, but that is one of the greatest games, and it is my favorite game of all time. Yeah, I'm surprised. Surprised we didn't uh, get a chance to talk about it. We you talked wanna... about it a lot, but why why is that? such a great game what makes it so great it's infinitely replayable I think is a big part of it yeah I don't know it uh it never gets yeah it never gets easy and actually I, I'm starting to see that trend with a lot of games like Dark Souls never gets easy you can never just let your guard down there's so many games like that now uh, which is great which is great I, I think that's a, a product of experience and learning not just I think there's just a lot of people who are really good at video games yeah, now yeah, because they I mean, grew yeah. up playing video games yeah and you couldn't. Well, no, you could. <laughs> Something in Ninja Gaiden and Castlevania and yeah, all but those old games. Those are unfairly difficult. Those are unfairly difficult. These are yeah. hugely different in that you know they're fair. Especially Spelunky. Spelunky has probably the fairest like terrain and enemy generation. Probably ninety percent of the time, it's your fault when you die. There are rare occasions in that game where you're gonna have like a spike trap generate where there's a like a shopkeeper or something yeah and you're gonna trigger, yeah. you're gonna trigger the spike trap which shoots the shopkeeper and now then the shopkeeper just blast you with his shotgun or something yeah that, that that's kind of that'll suck. happen but for the most part it's a very fair game it's very difficult it's infinitely replayable you can play it multiple ways you can play it for speed running you can play it for hell running 
you can play it for I'm not gonna spoil exactly what hell running is if you haven't played Splunky, but the game is four years old so you can also do an eggplant run if you're crazy yeah, there's eggplant running but eggplant run is you have to you have to find an eggplant you kind of yeah. fall into the eggplant run it's already sort of rare isn't it yeah I forget where it spawns but it's like in the beginning of the game maybe yeah, it's. I think it's always in the, near the beginning. But anyway, there's there's so many ways to play it. I think that's so it can appeal to a lot of different kinds of audiences. But for the most part, it appeals to a hardcore audience because it's difficult. Yeah, and it just like I said, it never gets easier. You just get better at it. I think that is the defining characteristic of a game with longevity. And there's no, there's really no, uh, there's no leveling up or progression yeah. besides just the player's skill. But that's the progression that usually feels the best, anyway. Right. Yeah. That's that's kind of my that's kind of my design philosophy is the player skill should be the primary progression in the game, rather than leveling up your character's stats and abilities. And that can help. I, I, every game now does that. Every game either does open world or RPG progression or both. And I know a lot of people are getting kind of tired of that format, that formula. You, know, you get fatigued after a while. I think Total Biscuit calls it open world fatigue. So it's it's great to see a game that doesn't rely on any of those sort of tricks. You know, it's just pure gameplay. Yeah. Yeah. And recently, Bot Vice. That's another Vice, example yeah. of a game that is just it's just pure gameplay. You're getting a lot of power ups, and this survival mode is never going to end. No, I think it's time to quit for now. I'd like to see what else it has. Cal, these caves. Three. Barra's quest. Let's try this one. So there's a lot of extra content in this game. You really get a lot for your buck yeah. in this one. I don't know how long this is, but... It seems like there's a lot of extra... Like, the survival thing just goes on forever, so... Oh, by the way, what just happened was... I don't know if we caught it on, on, uh, on the footage or not, but... I accidentally hit back instead of the start button, because I was trying to go to the menu and, you know, exit. And hitting the back button, which normally brings up the map, actually just caused the game to crash, because I guess the survival mode doesn't have a map. That might, yeah, that might be the bug that happened. We're not really sure what happened, but there's some kind of bug happened. There, the long way home. And we got an error message. Yeah, crashed, crashed hardcore. And there's no map in this. All right, so this just looks like, you know, maybe similar to the main game. That's that's it for that page. That means that we just finished the page of notes. Wow, there was nothing great on there. I'm sorry. No, it was pretty boring. Actually, sorry for just telling you about my day the other day. Yeah, nobody cares about... Nobody cares about how our days went. Why would they? They don't even know us. Who would care? You'd be like, oh, I wonder what Joe and Ed are up to today. Yeah, I went to the doctor, I went to the grocery store, I went to another grocery store. So you were a normal person. You were just like every, everyone else, right? I, I guess. Ate a, I ate a donut. You ate a donut? <laughs> yeah. Tell us, tell us, uh, details. No, don't actually. Yeah, that's. Let's not do that. God, it's really hot in here. Yeah, it's a hundred fucking degrees. It feels like it. We're inside. In the Philadelphia area, where R and B and hip hop rule. <laughs> <laughs> that's what they say. All right, so I think you kind of get the idea about this mode. It's just you play as Bira, yeah, and instead of as Cali, and the levels are different. The levels are different. I wonder how long this mode is. I wonder if it's, yeah. it can't be as long as the main game. No, there's no way. There's no there's no indication of how long it actually is, but I imagine it's mazish. Yeah, well, it's actually pretty linear. Just, oh, it is linear. You're right. It just looks to be nice and corrected. Good. You got me. You got me. Okay. Okay. Yeah, you freaking got me. Let's just go through this door and see what happens. Yeah. Let's. I mean, we can keep going. No, I want to this check is, out the other mode. This is bonus content. Yeah, okay. This is bonus, bonus content, Bronus. Bernie. Bronus. I use, I use the word Bernie instead of bro now. Why? I don't know. Remember Weekend at Bernie's? Yeah, we watched that. I remember. I, and we watched Weekend at Bernie's too with the, yeah. witch, with the witch doctor. Yeah. <laughs> kept bringing him back. Yeah. If you're watching <laughs> oh this. Oh my god, what a bad movie. And, you're, and you haven't seen Weekend at Bernie's? Yeah, there was a summer where I kept coming over your house. Yeah, it was great. It was a great summer. We watched anime and Weekend at Bernie's. I think, yeah, we just kept running movies and, yeah. and, uh, and watching them. Like for a whole summer. Pretty cool. It was fun. I think that was before you could drive, but I had my life. I could drive, yeah. but you couldn't. That sounds about right. So I was like an adult, or almost an adult, and you were, uh... 
I guess like 14 or 15, maybe? I don't know. Yeah, you were a kid. I'm a little I'm a I'm a little older than Ed, but So the, <laughs> I need to explain the premise behind Weekend of Bernie's if you don't know it. Yeah, it's an old movie. It was an old movie when we watched it, but it's the premise it's a very is old that, movie now. Yeah. This guy Bernie Actually, I don't even know if I can do it justice. Do you remember the de the details? Yeah, he, 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 he's, he's dead. De he's dead, but he was supposed to party with his bros or something, like these two guys, and Bernie is a really rich guy, and all the, the babes want to fuck him, you know? Oh, it was his place. It was his palace. Yeah, it was at his place, but but his, his buddies, who are poor guys, who are just like regular guys, didn't want to cancel the party, so they decided to pretend he was still alive for the entire movie, and they w were just holding him like on their shoulders. It's actually kind of a disgusting concept when you really think about it. I can't believe I don't know. they made a whole movie out of that, don't, really. Don't, don't. It's, watch it. It's, oh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna say don't watch it. I think oh. it's old and crappy now. Maybe. I, I'm gonna say it's dated and old by now. I don't know. I haven't seen it since we watched it all a long time ago. It's but. a really unique concept. I mean, how many times do you have where the, the, the title character dies at the very beginning of the film? And the rest of the film is other people pretending only, he's not dead. I can only think of two. Weekend of Bernie's and Weekend of Bernie's 2. <laughs> Yeah, how come there was a need for a sequel? sequel. Was, was there a third one? I don't think Let so. Let us know the plot line to Actually, Weekend of Bernie's 3 if there was. I thought a couple years ago I, I remembered hearing about a reboot of some sort. Hmm. Well, that didn't need to happen. I wonder if it did happen, though. Maybe it went straight to uh, Blu-ray. If at all. But they, I can think they were kind of like cult classics, you know? Do you have the stats from Cali, but you're playing I as... Do. Yeah. Did, we, did you already say that? I did not say that, but uh, I noticed it earlier. Yeah. Well, yeah, like, your stats don't change. If it's not clear already, we've been drinking. So... Wait, what? Why did you have to say that? No, we haven't been drinking. No, but, like, what? Where did that come from? Just, like, out of nowhere, you mean? Yeah, because I might have missed something, you know? Oh, that no, you no, no. Said. No, you didn't miss anything. Okay, cool. We haven't been drinking. I was just thinking how strange it is that the HUD doesn't change at all. Yeah. You still, it still shows what gun you have equipped, even though you can only do this. Whoa. Ah, crap. Stuck here. I don't know, should we show some of the other modes? Yeah. yeah I, think, I think we should check it out. Check out the other modes, okay. even though this is bonus content and we're this is going to be an extra long app. I think there's only one more. Yeah, Melvin's Zone. Melvin's Zone. Well, plus New Game Plus, actually. It's upside down. That painting's upside down. Oh, it's, no. That's disturbing, actually. Oh, okay, so, yes. What is this? <laughs> what is Melvin's Zone? I don't know. I think we should try this until you get to that boss over there. Unless it's really difficult. Wow, that big statue dropped a single coin. A gold coin, though. It the was gold, gold coins coin. are worth more than the regular coins. I wonder. I wish that the the little floaties worked uh, in the whoa. in the lava. That would be good. What's hey, maybe he'll tell us about Melvin's zone. Tell me about physics. Tell me about statues. There we go. They sure fall slow. Uh, yeah, deep. they do. They're made out of rock, and they fall slower Very than slowly. A, than anything else in the game. The gravity in this world must be totally out of whack. Also, he'll tell us about it. How's it going? Good. I bet you have questions about gravity. Oh my god, it's so Head hot. to school with Rupert, but... Rupert! There's the issue of Melvin. Did we... Is Melvin in this game? Did we see him? Most of the bosses you fought were created in Melvin's lab. So I think this is like a side story. Its own set of levels and a boss at the end. Hmm. Before we go to school today. Oh, she's really excited. Before yeah, we go to school, well, we're going to do this between the hours of 6 and 7.30 a.m. Just wipe out this uh, laboratory. Okay, this looks pretty hard, actually. Wait, what? What is with this? Can you swim? Oh, that's right, we can swim. Yeah, because you got the swimmies. Swimmies. That's a boss. That used to be a boss. Oh, never mind. Direwolf prototype. All right. He was a prototype. He was. You silly man. Wow, this is, these are some difficult monsters. They have a lot of HP. Look at all that money you have, though. Yeah, I know. Are there... That was mostly from survival. Are there stores in this mode of the game? Yeah! Fuck yeah, there's stores. Oh, we're gonna, we're gonna really upgrade Callie here. Callie, you are gonna get upgraded. Oh, I saw the exit up there. I'm hoping we get some of these mods. Mods? Or maybe just a better sword. Can we get a really even cooler sword? I bet. I wonder how much it can be upgraded. I want to say like a million times. Yeah, I'm really starting to want to upgrade this sword. Starting well, to. That's the thing though. What could be better than a lights a triple lightsaber? Yeah. Could there ever be a weapon that's better than that? I don't think so. So what else do we got coming up? We're gonna play some Nas. 
Yeah, we got another Hearthstone match. Well, a couple of, maybe two, two videos. Yeah, we might. We got up. some Hearthstone videos coming up. So, so I know some of you guys aren't as interested in Hearthstone, but some of you are. But we, uh, well, let, we'll just talk about it when we get to yeah. the Hearthstone episode. I don't even know why I said it. We we're gonna uh, record some games we never played. And uh, we got a bunch of long, not long for a bunch of analysis videos coming up. I know it's been a long time since we had one. It's been like a month. Has it? I feel like it's been longer. I think than it's only that. been about a month, maybe a little more than a month. It hasn't been two months. What was the last one that we did? Fuck. Um, <laughs> I can't even remember. Yeah, I can't remember. remember either. So maybe it has been a while. Maybe maybe not. But we got a bunch coming up actually. We got one that's going to be divided into a couple of uh, bite-sized pieces, and maybe a, re a repost of an older one that's. Uh, Remastered, I guess, is the way to put yeah, it. Yeah, remastered, old, old long form. The definitive remastered edition. Because those still do pretty well. Come on, whoa. Hey, dude. Cut them with the sword. Oh, yeah. Cut them down. Just cut them down. You need to heal, bro. Oh, I do. I guess you can't cut through his shield there. I guess. Can you tr try it when you're really close? The hell. I, yeah, I did try it. Nothing happens. It worked. Oh, it did? Yeah, it did. You just gotta get really close. Oh no, it only oh. works when he yeah, it only works when he appears. It's kinda weird. When he comes out from behind his sniper Joe shield. I bet you can use some sort of weapon. Uh-oh. Oh. We can break these. How do we do it? I think it's a flamethrower. Yeah. Blocks. <gasps> Another gun. The slime, slime gun. gun. Oh, it's slime season. Cool. Oh, that's kinda cool. And they explode just like the bombs. Can you use the spike gun to climb up here? Maybe there's a secret. Oh yeah, but we should just use the flamethrower to uh, build a path. Oh, okay, yeah, that's... Oops. Well, one of us has bring. Wait, how come I can't use it? His name is Ed. <laughs> oh no. The buttons are kind of... Screwy? Yeah, a little bit. Alright. Seemed kind of unresponsive for a second. Also, I like that. Like, on the boundary of the level, you can still set these darts. Yeah, that's that's cool. We can see what's at the top here. Maybe there's some kind of a secret. This game does have some secrets to it. Does it? Hey, look. Yeah, you're right. Oh, lots of secrets. Yeah, look at this shit. It's just money, though. It's always money, but... That's a you thing. Know, we're greedy here on GS. Speaking of being greedy... Oh, yeah? $3 isn't money. <laughs> we haven't talked about this in months now. Yeah, I think. yeah. I think it's been months. We haven't gotten a donation in months. No, that's I'm not true. We got it. Actually, oh... Did we get one recently? We, um, a couple weeks ago. Oh, okay. We actually got, ago. uh, two donations. We so did? I, oh, I, I meant to, uh, I meant to thank the people that donated recently. Uh, you know who you are. Uh, I'll see if I can pull up a list of the names. It's in my email. Oh, I didn't know we got donations. I was, but, but it bears repeating. That yeah, yeah, yeah. We're trying to get better audio equipment here on GS, so there's links below for Bitcoin and Play, PlayPal. PlayPal. PayPal donations. So, if you're, if you like GS, you like the content we're putting out, Consider donating three dollars because three dollars isn't even money. You won't notice that it's gone But if you want to donate more that's acceptable. Of course, it's acceptable. We would appreciate Whoa. any amount Yeah explosions Get out of here. Oh, no you spider. Oh, this is bad. You can just stand up here and uh, cheese it There's it seems like there's pretty much a way to cheese everything in this game It Depend does seem like because it. of the well also every gun selection everything gets stun locked with the sword so Yeah, everything does get stun locked really with the sword. There's only one thing you need to st to cheese everything which is the sword Yeah, I want to see what the next sword is though. I'm really excited about the next sword. Well, we're almost at the shop Yeah, let's get to that shop. But yeah, the campaign we need to mention that pretty more often than we have been because uh, we always appreciate their donations. And yeah, we were trying to mention it like once a week, but yeah. we haven't mentioned it in months. We're so bad at, you know, self-promotion. Yeah, I guess. I guess. Yeah, if you guys know any way to promote this channel, too, so we can, you know, get more viewers. The Sedgwick Blaster. Oh my god, it's so cool hot. I'm like too. sweating through my shirt. Oh yeah, I see it. That's great. Damn. Whoa, look at these guys. Look how big they are. We haven't been getting as many subs as we used to. Yeah, yeah, something weird, weird is going on with the subs. We used to get a between lot. 20 and... Well, we used, to, we used to get probably average of more than 30 subs every day. Yeah. And we were we were well on target to get 10,000 by the end of the year, and now it's just really slowed down Yeah, it's slowed lot. down to like between 5 and 8 maybe per day. Yeah. Which is, so it dropped by about 4 and fifths. It's only yeah, a, lot. a fifth of what it used to be for some reason. I have no idea why. I don't know what happened, but you had a good a good theory was that maybe we're not on the sidebar of some other similar channels anymore. Yeah, that's, that's possible. We're just not appearing on the on the recommended videos and recommended channels. I don't know. Here we go. What's up, dude? Increased power. A quarter oh, million. We can't. We're so close. Oh come on. Go. Nah, let's not grind for it. Let's see what else we can get. 
maybe nothing. You could get the coin thing. That's probably a hundred thousand though. Yeah. Mm, that's too much. Coin multiplier times seven. I think times six is enough. The difference between times six and times seven. It's not that big. <gasps> that's a big. That's a ball. That was a boss slime right there. How much does this drop? 233. It drops 2,000. So we kill like 10 guys. Yeah, they all drop 2,000. We can almost afford it. I bet this guy gives a lot. Where's yeah. the next store, though? Maybe we can just get it at the next store. Oh, we could. We could. This is a long bonus content. I wonder... Where where are we on this map here? Here. Or, yeah, on the shop there. Oh, I see. So we're, we're not even far. that far. No. I don't know. Maybe we'll leave it to... Uh, Leave it to the viewers to pick up the game for themselves and see what else there is. Do you want to do that, or do you just want to keep going? I, I want to see what the next Cyber Sword is. I kind of want to see what the boss is here. The boss at the very end? No, just oh, the, the boss in the, the, the midway boss, and see if, right. it's, if it's something new. Ooh. I know this episode's probably been really long, though, so far, but this yeah. is bonus content, so, yeah, you know, true. it's just GS. Plus, we don't have anything pressing to do tonight, actually. All we have is this. We're going to do some Hearthstone. Yeah, it's kind of a relaxed night. We... Yeah. We cleared all the wild games we were supposed to. Damn, remember? We were supposed to play. Remember when, when we first agreed to do this series? That was like two months ago. Yeah, we. It was forever. We ago. were really, naive. really behind. Yeah, we were naive at thinking this would be a quick and easy thing. Not this game specifically, just our schedule. Yeah. It turned out to be insane. Tell you what, let's go. Let's actually go forward. Maybe these guys drop more money. Forward to the sky. In that game. What is this? Oh, actually, we can't go this way. Yeah, check out Forward to the Sky. We have a video about it here on this channel from several months ago. You probably just need to use the search function at this point to find it. But it was a pretty fun game. It had some flaws. Yeah, we have... Uh, it was a pretty decent episode. Yeah, it was okay. I think we had good commentary on it. So we have, like, over 400 videos now. Did you realize that, Joe? That's way too many. 400? I thought it was, like, 300. No, we have over 400. 400. We recently broke 400, actually. Wow. Incredible. So, if you need uh, 400 hours worth of background noise or entertainment quote entertainment i don't know if i would call it that <laughs> yeah yeah there's lots what should we recommend our castle in the darkness series is pretty good i thought that was a fun series yeah yeah it's an older one our mighty number no. nine series recently <gasps> e for extra awesome oh wow. man look at and that and this series was fun but if you've watched this far you've probably watched this whole series already what else do we have that's cool nothing we have obviously, a lot of Hearthstone Obviously, content. the long forms, if you're into Hearthstone, we got Hearthstone content. We're, yeah. just, we're just plugging GS at this point. The web shooters. Jesus, there's so many weapons in this game. Let's go back to... It's unbelievable. Where is it? Web shooters. What is it? Does it do anything crazy? It probably stuns the enemies. <gasps> it does. But it doesn't hurt but them. But it does no damage, so you gotta switch. But look, look how fast I'm grinding this weapon up. It's because these enemies are so level high level, three, that's why. Level four... Check that out. Oh my god, my thumb is gonna... Basilica web? Your web shooters now use... It damages enemies! Yes. Okay, most OP weapon or most OP weapon in the game? Mm, yes. I would like to bring this into other games such as Don't Starve. Holy crap. Holy crap. It just unlocks... It's like a sword that's long distance. It's a long yeah. distance sword. Yeah. It's, and my it's, hand really hurts. It's very low damage. My hand is killing me now. I've been mashing this button about a Wait, you just times. webbed the spider. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess I did, huh? You trapped the spider in a spider web. I didn't think that would work. Black Widow web? Hmm, yeah, green. It's now it's they're boogers. Hmm. How many, yeah. how many boogers do you think you've eaten this month? You know what? Zero, and that's disgusting. No, 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 not on purpose. Just... Zero. For, do, you, do you order food from restaurants? Because sometimes they might be, you know, may, they might be cooking and Come on, maybe a booger falls in. Joe, we're higher class than this. Oh. Okay. Come on. <laughs> we don't talk about boogers here on GS ever. We're not appealing to the lowest common denominator here. Well. Booze. Maybe we are. I don't know. Whatever. It's half your channel too. Let's do whatever you want. Do whatever you want. I didn't mean to shut you down. I need another drink, and... Oh, you need to refill your drink, don't you? You're empty! Yeah. Do you feel anything at all? Because, uh... I feel hydrated. You feel hydrated? Yeah, because we're with alcohol. water. Because we're drinking water only and not alcohol. All right. Well, why don't we call it soon, then? Unless we I, really... I, I, I kind of want to see the boss, is. but it's kind of far. Yeah, it is. Do you want to take a break and come yeah, back when we're closer? A, let's, just, let's just take a break for a few minutes. Okay. We'll be right back, fellas. And we'll talk about orangutans. Welcome back to bonus content on GS. Can you hear anything? We had the air conditioner on. 
It's about a thousand degrees outside today. We have a wall unit here in the studio. Yeah, we don't have central air here. Because we're no, we're no fancy pants. Well, you're sort of fancy pants. I'm not that fancy pants. What did you say? I said you're fancy pants. Your pants are fancy. Wow. Because look at those pants. They're, they're not jeans. I got them at... Here's the thing. Guess what kind of pants Joe is wearing right now. And he'll send them to you. <laughs> washed, of course. Washed, of course. No, I wouldn't wash them. You wouldn't wash them. Okay, but there's your offer, folks. <laughs> there's your offer. Actually, that's kind of gross, isn't it? Isn't yeah, it's extremely a... gross. It's yeah. In fact, I think less of you now for saying that. That's like a... Oh. This is bonus content on GS. I mean, you can turn it off any sec anytime you want, guys. But you won't. You won't. If you, I mean, if you watch this far, you probably won't. But I recommend just turning it off. Yeah, I, don't, I don't really have anything else to say. No. But I just want to see what this boss is. Who Who do you think is still watching at this point? And we keep and we keep saying that it's bonus content. Don't watch this. Oh. Usually, I have a pretty high opinion of our content, but uh, right now I'm just. I would like to switch weapons more quickly than I'm doing. Just like the one-way scroll. Yeah. I don't love that as much as I want to love it. I just don't love it. Uh, resume. Where is it? Oh, that was it! That was it! Yeah, I think I already talked about all of this. There we go. Don't Wait, starve. Where do you want to go? And beat Don't Starve. She beat Don't Starve, she huh? She beat the game, yeah. Good. She beat the adventure of Don't Starve. If you guys have never played Don't Starve, that's... She was way into that. That's quite an achievement. It's a it's a roguelike game. I think we talked about we it. We talked about it last show, time, yeah. yeah we talked a, about it when we did um, Necropolis, actually. Oh, it was Necropolis. Well, it's a roguelike game that takes dozens of hours to beat. It's pretty If nuts. you die, you have to start the entire thing over. <laughs> Wait, this is the start of the level. Hmm. Did we... I think we want to go this way. Yeah, she got lucky, huh? She didn't die. She didn't starve. I saw the ending. How did it go? Well, I don't want to spoil it. Well, probably no one will. No one watching this will ever beat it. I don't know about that. You think? Because it takes so much. Oh, effort. maybe. Oh, this was the the down way. What's up, dude? I wonder if he throws bombs like a child. You'll never make it to school now. He does. He does indeed. Oh wow, this sniper Joe travels back yeah. and forth. I bet there you go, lasers oh. work. But you know what we really need to use is uh, this. So many grown men killed in killed. this title. Yeah, I know. I, I would use that cyber sword of yours. Oh! Cut him that down. Cyber sword. I mean, the way that... This is literally a lightsaber now. Yeah, it's so upgraded and powerful now. It does 8.4 damage. But actually, these spider webs are even better. Oh, they are. <laughs> spider webs. Yeah, nothing, Killing spiders. nothing better. Yeah, we've... Okay, let's make more jokes. Oh yeah, we said we were going to talk about orangutans and chimps. Oh yeah. Yeah, they're the worst. I hate them. <laughs> that's that's the topic that you yeah, want to... They're violent monsters. I guess. Monsters walk this earth in the form of orangutans, chimps, and alligators, alright? Uh, okay, I'm glad you included alligators. I was going to have to stop you. Yeah. Yeah, I guess. I mean... Not really. Orangutans and, and other apes What is and this? What's what? Why did I write this down? Cupcake eating hoes? <laughs> What? <laughs> I don't, I don't Why know. did you write that down? I don't know. Let's see what this note is about. This is I wrote this a long time ago. I don't even know what this is. I thought you wrote it today. Bodybuilders eating cupcakes in celebration of power cleaning 300 pounds. What? This must have been a bit or something I was working on. I don't know. Write the rest of it for yourself because I don't remember what that was about. Didn't you write this today? No, this is or old, like this, week? this is old shit. Yeah, that's it. All right. Wow. That was all the notes from that paper. I don't. That was the only one on there. I think I didn't talk about it. And I don't even know what it was. Two pages down already. Yeah, we have nothing left. So, good luck with the rest of the night, fellas. <laughs> fellas, referring to yourself? Yeah. You just refer, refer refer to yourself in the third person. I referred to you and me, I guess. I guess you did. Oh. Oh. I don't love that. They turn around as soon. Okay, there we go. You know what? Just stay there. It's cool. There's gotta be some weapon that goes through that shield. I think the laser did. Oh yeah, you're right. Slime season. <laughs> Ecto-21. Ecto-21, wow. Alright, I'll take it. The new Ghostbusters movie. Let's talk about Wait, have that. Wait, you, you haven't seen it, have no, you? I'm not gonna watch that. Are you kidding me? I'm not kidding you. Although I've heard it's not very good. No, I'm sure it's awful. 
Are you sure it's awful? Yeah. Yeah, I guess it is. I don't know. I usually just look at Rotten Tomatoes and uh, believe what they say. You know? Usually, usually that popcorn review is the right one. What's popcorn review? The popcorn one is the, the user review. Oh. The critic review is the tomato. Oh. And the popcorn one is the user review. Right. It'll have a little picture of a, a popcorn, you know, a, what is it? A box of popcorn. Yeah. And it'll either be a box of popcorn or a box of popcorn tipped over. And if it's tipped over, it means it's crappy. And they're almost always right. And the critics, not always right. No, not always, but... You, know, you, you aggregate a hundred critics yeah. opinions and it's usually right after that it's gonna be yeah right it's gonna be pretty right pretty right yeah pretty right this is this is a mess but we really gotta see what this boss is here. no we really don't <laughs> you have to you have to but we really don't have to that's the thing we have all the freedom in the world to not do just this. label this episode final episode plus bonus material plus or bonus material boner material actually is the correct because you don't have to you don't, you don't have to watch the rest of it if you're still we, watching just, it here's the thing if you're still watching it now you're gonna keep watching we know that because you're in an abusive relationship with us and you love it you ever been in an abusive relationship that really we're going here now no let's to this not, topic let's, let's not go to that no topic. let's not because that's uh that's not something that anybody wants to share. Ever, I think. Am I wrong? Okay. Yeah, if you've ever been in an abusive relationship, <laughs> let us know in the comments. Yeah. No, don't, don't. Keep it to yourself, unless you really want to share. You can share whatever you want in the yeah. comments. I mean, we're all, everyone's welcome to share anything here. There's no judgment happening. Yeah, we, we have a pretty non-toxic comments uh, community, which I like. I think it's just because we're too small to matter. Yeah, yeah I think it's, I think we're just too small, like, the the jerks and the trolls tend to target places where there's a larger audience that are gonna they're, well, they're gonna get more attention although from, there, there was that one guy in the Dark Souls video who's like what did you say you suck at Dark Souls oh I don't know who cares that, that's just a very I don't give any attention to that no to any of these uh, it, you gave him a really snappy few, yeah yeah I, I, I yeah. do I write snarky comments in the, when they deserve sometimes it sometimes in the but yeah we're not we're not jerks for no reason yeah only in retaliation yeah, if you if you're if you're an asshole, uh, I'll be an asshole to you. But that's kind of how I that's how I try to live. Is if you're if you're a nice person and you're nice to me, I'll be nice to you. But if you're a cunt, I'll be a cunt to you. But <laughs> I'm, I'm never a cunt to anybody, unprovoked. Yeah. But I'll yeah. be a cunt if you're a cunt, you know. I guess. Where's that uh, laser? There it is. Okay, this is like a giant maze. It's a maze. Oh my god. Okay, so there is one thing about this game. It really hurts your finger. Yeah, just to mash to constantly. Mash constantly. And yeah, you can't I, hold I, it down, but look what happens when you hold it down. You get a slower rate of fire, right? Yeah, it's ridiculously slow. Yeah. Okay, that's like not here, really... I'll show it better with like this. There's holding it down and then yeah. mashing it is like that. Yeah. So, so you definitely need to be mashing in this game. I mean, you could hook up Joy to Key if you're playing the PC version, right? Yeah, in fact, we should. Which is done something that. that I recently did with Bot Vice. Here's a tip for you guys: if you want to have maximum fire rate, if you want to turn your pistol into a machine gun, hook up Joy to Key while you're playing Bot Vice. Mm -hmm. I've been playing Bot Vice. Actually, this is a good topic we could get into. Bot Vice is fucking awesome. Yeah. Uh, for those of you who don't know, we just covered Bot Vice as a wild game. Uh, it's well, one of my favorite games this year. I've been playing yeah, it. I haven't beaten it yet. I've been playing it here and there. Like, I'll take a little break here and there, play it for 10 or 15 minutes. It's it's a really great game for that. It's not a good game to sit there and play all day. If you're going to... You'll just lose your mind. Yeah, yeah. You, you can't possibly concentrate it takes so on much this game for power. longer than, like, maybe 40 minutes. It's kind of ridiculous how intense it is. But, yeah, it's... I love it. Whoa, look at that fog! Somebody's smoking a doobie! We've been playing a lot, we've been playing a lot of good games on GS lately. Yeah, we have. I think my my biggest recommendations as of late would be Bot Vice and this. Completely different games. Both very good though. Oh. Oh my God. Colossus prototype. I thought he was the boss. Oh, I guess he's a prototype of the boss. I he guess. had like a mini version of his head there. Yeah. But yeah, there is there is something kind of broken about Bob Vice. I don't I don't like games where you have to mash. I mean, I do I like this game, but I prefer when you don't have to mash in a game, especially since I've been having issues with uh, I don't know repetitive stress or uh, carpal, whatever you call it. 
Yeah, I'll be there soon. Issues after with this my game. hand. Right. And yeah, games games where you have to mash the button a lot will aggravate that issue. And Bot Vice is a game that is like that, but I can I hooked up Joy to Key so that I can just I can just have an auto fire, and that works. But it kind of feels like cheating. But I don't I, I want to play the game to maximum maximum effectiveness, but I also don't want to aggravate my condition anymore. So yeah. I have I've uh, resorted to using Joy to Key to auto fire. So there's a little tip for you guys if you don't want to kill your hand playing Bot Vice. Yeah, it's not worth it. Just hook up Joy to Key and put on auto fire. What the hell is this? A giant maze? I think it is. Look but how big his hitbox is. It's really big. Collision. Bounding hey, box. Huh? It's 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 better than the player hitbox being giant. Yeah, yeah. yeah I really sure. hate when the player hitbox is is too big, or or when the the what? when the damaging hitbox of the enemy is too big. Like for instance, the wolves in this game. It's the only place I've really noticed it. Wow, you got a bow and arrow now. Yeah. There's so many weapons in this I know. game. It's ridiculous. Cool. Not in a bad way. This bow in particular seems familiar. There needs to be a better way to to switch between weapons, though. Try hitting some of these green tanks with arrows. Oh, we we saw a lot of those green tanks. Oh, so you can you can like bust through green tanks. Okay. Okay. Interesting. Maybe you should use the bow to level it up a little bit before yeah. you get to the the boss. Then or maybe maybe not. No, absolutely. You are right. I will do that. We're almost there. It definitely feels like it. I mean, looks like it. We we know that it. We're almost there because we've looked at the map. Oh, oh dear. Wow, it does a lot of damage. Where'd he go? Wait, we could, we should hook up Joy to Key and see how fast you can shoot in this game. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Uh, probably. 30 times a second, I'm guessing. Do you want to do that? Do you want to do that now and see? Yeah, if you want to. Yeah, I do. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Look, it literally fires as fast. There's no cap. There's, There's no, no cap. There's no. no cooldown. This game runs at 30 frames a second. We set it to 29 times a second to press the button 29 times a second. So there really is no cap. Oh man, my hand needed a break. So that is kind. Of, that is. Uh, this is kind of cheating. <laughs> it is absolutely cheating. <laughs> but. Uh, we did find some. Maybe there should be a cap on that. Yeah, so I'm surprised that you can't they're cheat with Joy to Key. <laughs> well, I mean, if people really want to cheat, they're gonna figure out a way to do it anyway. You know, most people aren't even gonna use Joy to Key in the first place. I use Joy to Key a lot, actually. Really? I, yeah, I use Joy to Key because I don't. I don't want to mash buttons. Yeah. I think that this that oh the skill gosh. shouldn't be in in mashing buttons in a game. Then usually there's like a cap on how fast you can shoot in the game, though. Yeah, yeah, usually there is. I'm surprised there isn't, actually. Like, Bot Vice has a very fast cap, but it is possible for a human to press the button as fast as the cap during during the entire time that they're shooting during Bot Vice. Look how fast you can shoot arrows. But, yeah, I'm... As, my design philosophy is that button mashing is not shouldn't be shouldn't be part of your game design shouldn't yeah. be part of the the skill involved yeah it shouldn't make you do any better like in like mario party especially the older mario party games oh. where you just have to mash the a button over and over again i don't i don't think that's particularly great no those are the worst oh crap i mean it it kind of feels good to be able to shoot as fast as you can press the button but now that I'm having issues with uh, mashing buttons, I uh, I want I just I would, I'd prefer just auto fire, and and to just have the the developer limit how fast you can shoot in the game. Machine guns over pistols, I guess. Sherwood Cross. Fuck yeah. Damage increase. Two arrows. I'm excited about this. We're gonna rob from the rich. Holy and crap! Keep it. Look at that. We're gonna rob from the rich and keep it. I heard you the first time. We're gonna rob from the rich and burn it. <laughs> We're just gonna burn the money. Just burn it all. Now here's a question: How? Oh yeah, that's you stick it in the side of the level. That's right. That's a little counterintuitive, isn't it? Usually you can't uh, stick things in the side of the level directly. Kind of weird. Isn't it? Look at those shells. 
Callie is a uh, she's a beast. It's brutal. Holy crap! She's a brutal murderer. Now she is. Yeah, for real. She gets to school and there's just SWAT. There's just a SWAT team waiting for her. <laughs> Uh, you know, miss, you're responsible for the murder of, uh... Herbert? 3,877 human beings and countless animals. Endangered wolves. Yeah, those wolves were endangered. So were those skeletons. <laughs> In the world, yeah. The world's first animated skeletons. The Merkwood bow. You've set science back thousands of years from your murder of those living skeletons. <laughs> Blessed by elves. Callie. That was the point. You now shoot three arrows. Wow, this Look. guy's not going down. No. This is what insane. A motherfucker. It's insane. It's insane how much damage is being done here. And still, they're not dying instantly. I love it. They're dying pretty quick, though. Do you think we could set it to a faster rate? Oh, a faster rate? Well, I think the game only runs at 30 frames a second. Do you think we could set it to shoot multiple no, I don't think arrows so. per frame? No, probably not. How right. could you? Because it couldn't be animated. Well, just because it couldn't be animated doesn't mean it couldn't be done. I don't think so, but I don't know. Shorter cooldown. Oh, emergency bu Oh, that's right. That's what the emergency button is. Remember, we got this at some point. No, we didn't. It was didn't. a power-up, yeah. We didn't. We've never gotten We've that. We've never gotten up. that. Okay. Uh, what do we- we can't buy any more swords. We only have a hundred thousand. Look, dude, there's no more sword power-ups. Yeah, our sword is maxed out. We have the ultimate sword. Alright, then. But well, we're almost there. Uh, what? You were there, bro. Oh, yeah, yeah, that, you're right. I got confused for a second. So we're almost there. We're only, uh, this is it. This is it. We're just to the boss. What do you think it's gonna be? Is it gonna be a palette swap of an old boss? Or, like, it's probably gonna be... I don't know, man. Maybe one of those things? God, that's too many arrows. How many trees died so we could fire these arrows <laughs> into nothing? As many as possible, I hope. As many as possible? Like, all of them? Did you know there are three trillion... Is it... I think it's trillion. Or billion. Maybe it's billion. Yeah, three billion trees on planet Earth. Fuck yeah. Did you know that? Fuck yeah, trees. Isn't that an insane amount of trees? Three billion. I can't even imagine. Are there more people than the trees? No. Wait, yes. <laughs> yes, yeah. by a lot. Are by there like six or seven billion people I now? I think there's over seven billion now. When we were younger, it was it used to be six billion was the the general estimate. Now yeah, that was the cap of the Earth. They now it's over seven. Couldn't handle six billion, but somehow now we can handle seven. Well, I don't know. I don't know if we've ever been able to handle six or seven billion though. Nah, there's actually there's enough space. Well, in yeah, the Earth sure. To handle to handle the people. But I've heard another statistic regarding that. Like, you could fit the entire country of the United States, all 300 million people, in a single state. I forget what state yeah. it was. It was, like, one of the moderately sized states. So we're not running out of space. Just maybe resources. And that I understand more than space. But people are... All right. Ingenious. And they continue finding ways to gain resources at faster and faster rates. And... And really support more and more people on this earth and if uh, if it's not here for us then what is it here for you know <laughs> make sure you take out all the tanks all right we're here this is the boss this is the boss room right this is the boss room okay stun locked into oblivion so the goal is to take out all the tanks maybe there is no boss maybe this is the boss oh just to take out the tanks maybe oh my god Wow, that guy has hit points <laughs> like a motherfucker. Jesus. He just refuses to you die. Have a ma you maxed out the bow as well. Holy crap. You're level 19 on the bow, and 19 seems to be the max. Yeah. So if you really want to max out a weapon quickly, You're that's how dead. you do it. Yeah. That's how you do it. You just uh, turn on Jordy Key. But that's the thing. So we can't get any stronger with this weapon, then? I guess so. You missed a green tank up there. Oh god, oh god. There you go. Oh, you kill all the green tanks and just instantly appears. <laughs> uh, Melvin's prototype factory. I think that was the boss. Yeah, that, that was that was the boss. That was the boss. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So this mode continues, and this episode's been going on for a long time. But again, this is bonus material. But I think we have shown a decent amount of the bonus material in this game. We played through the entire main uh, scenario of the game, the main campaign of the game, 
and we had a blast. It was a literal a blast. It was so much fun. I've never played a game like this. So, even though my hand kind of hurts now because I've been mashing the whole time, this was well worth it. I really enjoyed this. More than I had a right to for, you know, 4.99 Steam platformer. Amazing. Yeah, you're not going to find you're not going to find a value a game that's going to that's good and is going to give you as much content as this game and there's a lot to discover and there's still more to discover and we've, we've been playing this for six episodes so you can get it on mobile you can get it on steam it's not an expensive title great for a car trip all the shit that we said before yeah good game for kids good game for for men oh i just realized that mouse has been on the screen the whole time oh has it all right time to do the whole thing over sorry about that we're uh we'll be back on episode no we won't we're we are signing out. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. GS!